Well, hello, I'm Pastor Jim Galbraith from First Baptist Church in Prince Albert. We've been talking about facing crisis, and so far we've talked about getting off to a good start with prayer, and then we plan, we persist and persevere in our plans. Now we're talking about protecting ourselves and others in times of crisis. When we get slammed by the hard things of this world, sometimes it just completely overwhelms us and washes over us, and we feel there's nothing we can do about it. It's easy to give in to the crisis. COVID-19 is bigger than any of us. Millions of people are sick. Hundreds of thousands may die. And it has managed to spread to every nation on earth, with the exception, at least last week, of a few isolated South Pacific islands. In this time of crisis, we need to see the importance of seeking help and protecting others. We've been talking about Nehemiah in the Old Testament. When he and the Jews started to actually build the wall, they faced enemies from outside the city trying to bully them into giving up. But they also faced betrayal from fellow Jews who were exploiting the poor and the middle class. In both cases, Nehemiah sought protection for the people under crisis. He called upon those building to wall to arm themselves with weapons and work together, one with a sword, the other with a shovel, to protect each other from outside attack. He called upon the exploiters to stop their exploitation and return what they had taken back to the poor. And he made his own life subject to the will and ways of God. He denied himself the benefits and pleasures of his powerful position and dedicated himself to the restoration of the holy city, Jerusalem. We all know somebody who needs protection. That person may be a child being bullied. It may be a girlfriend who faces threats and abuse. It might be a senior being exploited by other family members or so-called friends or even those phone call scams that just keep coming and coming. And the person who needs protection may even be ourselves. In any one of those situations, or many others, when we are under crisis, we need to protect ourselves and seek help. When we see someone else needing protection, we need to step up and help them as we are able. The worst thing to do in any crisis is to keep it to ourselves and hope it just goes away. It doesn't. Cancer grows. Bullies return. Exploiters keep stealing. COVID-19 will not disappear if we just ignore it. If you can stand up for yourself, start there. If you need help, seek it out. If you're too afraid to speak up, find someone you trust. Families or friends, co-workers, social workers, the police, teachers, counselors, doctors, pastors. There's crisis lines, the suicide hotline. There's 9-11 for emergencies and 8-11 for our health and COVID concerns. Get the help you need. Speak up for those who are afraid to speak up for themselves. When we're under attack by crisis, whether it's physical or spiritual, emotional or financial, we need to pray, plan, persevere, and protect ourselves. And when we see someone in need, we need to find a way to help them. Tomorrow we wrap up this series on facing crisis. Have an awesome day, wash your hands, stay healthy, and God bless you.